Well, what a, what a bloody game. Simple as that. 3-2 to Australia over Brazil. Revenge of four years ago. Top of the group at the moment. Epic finish. Dylan Bazga with the goal at the death. May, talk me through that. Oh, great. I've been practicing penalties and I always go right. And this time I had to go left. It was open and the horror was racing. Chad, what about the crowd? It's a full house. I know how much Maccabee means to you. This is what Maccabee is all about. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, every time I heard the, the crowd cheer, it just brought a smile to my face. And it, ju it just helped us keep pushing. We were 2-1 down with seven minutes to go. Uh, and we never stopped. We never, we never believed that it wasn't over. And uh, the, the feeling when the final whistle went was unbelievable. Jade, you played a lot of futsal. You played a lot of good games. Have you played a better one? Uh, in terms of raw emotion at the end of a game, probably not. I mean, I've qualified for two World Cups, which is probably up there. But in terms of raw emotion from coming back uh, and winning the game against the team that knocked us out four years ago, it's just unbelievable. Gilly, what composure. Two one down, five men out, and you've got the finish there. What was that like? It was unbelievable. It was the best feeling ever. You know, all the boys, just, just for all the boys, you know, like, we've been working for this game for 18 months and, like, to score a goal is just the best feeling ever, you know. It's all that hard work's been, you know. Like, we've still got a few more games to go, you know, so. Absolutely. So, Jared, talk, before we get to what happens next, just talk me through those final moments. The send-off, heart attack material because the ball's gone short and there's a 50-50. There's a, a Talk us through the gamble for anyone who doesn't understand it when you take the goalkeeper off and you switch it up for a fifth man. Yeah, so essentially we're, we're trying to get an advantage by playing an extra player um, and that's why we replace the keeper with a, a field player for technique and to give us the advantage. Um, and with seven seconds to go uh, and we hadn't, we hadn't found a goal, uh, it was do or die. Uh, and as soon as I saw him slide in, I was like, please give that a foul, please just give it. Uh, and yeah, it okay. came. So what now? I know it's a huge high at the moment, but this is a very uh, strong group and you, you can't drop any points from here because Brazil will be on your back for the rest of the tournament. What's the next step to get the guys focused going forward? It's really lucky that we've got a day off tomorrow, so it gives us time to, to recover our bodies uh, and mentally prepare for Lithuania, who could very well be uh, the third best team in the group. Uh, so yeah, we just need to get our, ourselves ready, uh, get prepared. We still need to win three games. We're not in the gold medal match yet. We win those three games and then we can think about it. Guys, thanks for joining us. We're going to get in the sheds. I know you can't wait to go. 3-2 to Australia. Epic win. Fantastic day at Maccabea. Thanks for joining us.